Welcome back, everyone, on Pioneer Day. Finding the perfect recipe for your special occasion can be overwhelming. But Julie and Jacob with the Utah Beef Council have a special meatball recipe in the sponsored segment. Yes, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, Jacob, I, I, this is just one of my favorite recipes. Today, uh, should we tell them what we're yeah. making? <laughs> as, as I'm getting a facial here. Um, some delicious meatballs with some canned tomatoes and some sauce, but mm -hmm. we're switching it up. There's no uh, pasta here. You don't right. see any pasta. I, I don't see any. Yeah, yeah. no. Yeah. I didn't, it's not in my purse. It's not <laughs> anywhere. Well, I hope not. <laughs> I really hope the pasta is not in your purse. <laughs> no, I love this one from utahbeef.org from your recipes uh -huh. um, of just making some delicious meatballs mm -hmm. and cooking those up. I brown, the, brown those up for about seven to eight minutes, just in the pan, not right. in the oven, just here. And then adding some tomatoes, um, diced tomatoes, two cans. Yeah. And to the, you can add it with, with basil and the other seasonings, or you yeah. can just add it yourself. Is you can right? add it yourself, yeah. yep. So garlic powder, basil, and oregano, but you can usually find that in those tomatoes, you know, with those yes. seasonings. Yes. Or just add it yourself, like you said. And then instead of pasta, what have we got? We've got some little red potatoes, Isn't red skin potatoes, fun? yeah. Really switching it up here. <laughs> <laughs> to, you know, I love that though because, you know, meat and potatoes, of course, go great together, but then you add this delicious sauce with all those good flavors. Mm -hmm. Hello, something yeah, new. For sure. And, you know, with the meatballs, we're just going to add a little bit of um, egg and breadcrumbs. Yep. And then you just form form them to the size that you like them. And like you said, you just brown them up on the skillet. We're just using one pot, which is yep. nice for cleanup. It's really easy to, to, to just whip this up. In no time. In no time at For all. Yeah. I also added some garlic into the, um, and a little Parmesan cheese mm -hmm. into the actual uh, meat, meatballs themselves. So that's a lot of because, good flavor. That's because you're wild and crazy like that. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> um, so yeah, seven to eight minutes, but then you put the potatoes in and once you get the juices from the canned tomatoes in there, 20 to 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That just let everything kind of cook through. Everything cooks together. It kind of, the flavors meld together. And then Love you've it. got this nice saucy skillet full of deliciousness. <laughs> full of deliciousness. <laughs> and I, I love these small potatoes too. They're one of my uh, one of my favorites. And I've, I've never done them in something like the, this type of a sauce and the meatballs, mm -hmm. but so delicious once I, I made this one. Look at that. Oh my there goodness. Go. Well, how about a, couple, well, a few more there? <laughs> I, I didn't go. skimp on the size, Jacob. No, you didn't. You yeah. didn't. No. Yeah. No. no one's going to say those are way too small. <laughs> no one's going to say <laughs> that they're too small. There we go. Okay, <laughs> there's that. Look at that beautiful plate. Now we got to finish it off. We eat with our eyes first. Mm -hmm. um, fresh Parmesan cheese. Yes, please. Sir. Yes. Okay. All right, let me get some of that on there for you. Uh, oh, I think you need keep to keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep, keep going. going. Keep I'm, going. I'm grinding. Keep going. I'm grinding. Keep going. Here we go. <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay. 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 Now here's some <laughs> parsley. Just of course parsley goes so well. You can do fresh basil just mm -hmm. to kind of finish it off. I love to have fresh herbs. Yeah, fresh basil is delicious. So good. Um, but yeah, something like this. Look at that. Just works so well. And Jacob, like you said, one pot wonder, mm -hmm. and everybody gets to eat together. Yes. You know? Which is what you should be doing with your family. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Whenever possible. Um, and all you're doing on this one is, you know, the work ahead of time is just, you know, putting the meatballs together and mm -hmm. cooking those, up, and then it's all in one pan. I love that. Yeah. I love Easy that. Easy cleanup. But delicious dinner. It is. And Jacob, is this one that you can use a more lean uh, ground beef on? Absolutely. Go ahead and go yeah. 93 to 96% lean ground beef on that. Okay. Uh, because you're adding that moisture in with a little bit of the egg, and then you've got all the, the sauce, sauce as well. So Perfect. Perfect. So so great can... lean choice. Absolutely. And tell us your website. Yep. Head over to utahbeef.org for this saucy skillet of deliciousness. Yes. And many other recipes just like it. And many more. We <laughs> hope you try this one. Make sure you grab that recipe. And if you do, write in and let us know how it turned out for you. And what you think about it, and maybe some recipes you might want to see us cook in the future. Yeah. Beef. It looks so good, Jennifer and Jacob. Thanks for being in our kitchen.